Okay, here we are about 9 in the morning. We're assembling the cable tray. As you can see, we've put in the uh, S5 clamps. We've cantilevered the cable tray over the solar panel 2 inches. And 6 inches of the 8 inch wide cable tray is down slope from the edge of the solar panel. That will give us some shading protection of the junction boxes even though they're UV tolerant. We've also installed the grommets so we can pull the wires through so that if over time the wires won't become frayed. We're now um, running a positive and negative wire and a grounding wire. This is a 3.264 kW system made up of three strings of eight solar panels. So each string will have its own positive and negative wires running down to the inverter. We could have a uh, combiner box, but I think we're just going to use, uh, because the, in the inverter has enough capacity to run the wires right down to it, I don't think that'll be necessary. So we're putting the final tightening on the uh, bolts for the cable tray base. It's coming along really well. This has uh, all been, we've installed all the stuff in just uh, one morning. So next will be to uh, make sure all the strings are wired together and then we'll start working on the cable tray cover. Okay, we're preparing the conduit that will indeed make this a penetration free solar array. The cable tray is clamped to the standing seam panels. No penetrations are made. It's uh, friction, friction affixed clamp. And all the wiring runs through the perforated cable tray base. And we have a conduit that will run out the end of the cable tray. I'm Mark with SDC Solar Design and Construction. Uh, we're doing the install for Whirlwind uh, building systems and Whirlwind Solar. The, uh, the inverter brings the juice, which is DC, from the solar panels on the roof. The inverter changes it from DC to AC uh, 60 cycles. Um, and then it goes into the, uh, the breaker box, the service panel. And uh, the electricity is either used in the home or if not, it's pushed out through the, through the meter and the meter spins backwards. Um, hence, you get a credit on your electric meter. This is a 3.26 kilowatt system. Yeah, 3.26 kW. And, of course, you can, we, don't, we haven't installed the inverter yet. That should be here this morning. And uh, we're going to go up on the roof now and take a look at some of the uh, photo, photovoltaic panels. Fred Reardon with Whirlwind Solar. I'm here with Mark Beach in Lafayette, Louisiana on a photovoltaic laminate install that we're doing. I'm helping Mark. And Mark, tell me about your experience a little briefly in solar and uh, your involvement with Whirlwind Solar and this project. I got involved in solar several years ago when I saw uh, there was a need for, for alternate energy and uh, stabilizing fuel prices. But uh, the involvement with Whirlwind uh, the system is, is, is a snap, literally. It's, it's very easy. Um, the platform that they have with their metal building system and, and the laminate on, on the metal roof is, is a great idea. And uh, insurance uh, purposes, we don't have any roof penetrations. We don't have any issues of racks blowing off in the wind. And uh, um, the technology is, is, is uh, and the engineering is great. Uh, we install these cable trays, which obviously the cables go in and uh, make the wire connections, put the snap covers on, and run the wire down to the inverter. So we're still in the construction phase right now, and uh, after we're done here, we'll put a uh, cable tray cover on, and uh, that'll be snapped into place. And Mark will finish installing the inverter. In the rain. In the rain. <laughs> so, well, you know, nothing like working with electrical in the rain, you know. While it's raining on the metal roof. Brutal. 
I'm Fred Reardon with Whirlwind Solar. This is Corey Saft, architect, Lafayette University uh, professor, and owner of this really cool structure that we're working on. And this is Mark Beach of Solar Design and Construction. We're just we're at substantial completion. We're standing around at Christmas time waiting for the inverter. You so, see, uh, FedEx. Yeah, FedEx, right? <laughs> so how how's the project going? Pretty good, guys. Good. Yeah. And uh, we'll uh, after we get the inverter installed and the elect the rest of the electricity gets done, we probably be done by the end of the year, right? We're shooting for it. Yeah. Trying cool. To slip in for those tax rebates. Yeah, we want to get the incentive. So, I want to thank you guys for uh, letting us come down here and install this thing and and creating a, a video diary of the project. You guys have a merry Christmas. Fred, thank you for coming out. We appreciate oh, you're all your help. You've been fantastic. Okay. Thanks. All right, Mark. Except I'm going back. Cheap I'm going to go up back. on the roof now with my pink bucket and uh, <laughs> clean off the uh, dust off the solar panels so it will get some good productivity. Mark, the conduit looks awesome. You did a great job. I mean, it looks like it's actually a part of the architectural, you know, like and, uh, yeah, it was, exactly. But it's coming out of the... Uh, cable tray, it's coming down, it makes a perfect 90 right below the meter. I think you'll want us to mount some more conduit up there to add to the uh, contemporary look. Alright, these guys are putting the uh, cable tray cap on. Mark, Francisco. You can see one, once this sucker gets popped in there, I mean it's not going anywhere. We'll clean it off when it's it's in there, but it, it's a real positive attachment. Wait, 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 wait. I got that. There's black wire. Okay, that's good. Okay, you can see the uh, cable tray cap it's just been placed. Go. You can see here we've uh, connected the positive and negative wires from each adjacent panel and in this case we have three strings of eight so we'll have a total of uh, six wires three black three red three three negative three positive and then we've just installed the uh, cable tray cover on the end here and a positive attachment strap <laughs> 